Hello everybody, Colin Marison here, otherwise known as Maris from Marison Films, and today we're going to be firing some questions at you. So, when you're ready, let's start. What are you wearing today? What am I wearing? Well, um, I thought I was wearing all black, but I'm obviously wearing a navy blue t-shirt. In the word perfume. Oh, in terms of perfume. Um, black links, whatever, whatever flavour that is. Oh, that flavour's lovely. I don't think it's Africa. I don't know what flavour it is, but it was just it was the nearest one on the shelf, so I used that. <laughs> right. What was your last dream or nightmare? Oh, God, my dreams are really weird. I don't remember my dreams, but I know that I laugh in my sleep and yeah. I do impressions. And usually when I start laughing, it wakes me up. And then I think, why am I awake? And I think, who's laughing? And I realise I'm laughing. What I kind can't remember why. What kind of impression do you do in your dream? Voices. Very bad accents and very bad voices. Just impersonations, probably people I've never met. All right, but, okay. Yeah, usually enough to wake me up. Does it wake George up? She's usually awake anyway. She oh, says right. to me, who are you talking to? And then I just mumble something stupid. And she says, oh, why are you chewing your pillow? And I say, oh, I'm going to stick it up my bum. What's currently on your CD in your car? Well, my car's now um, a cube. It was crushed about 10 years ago. What was on that? God. Well, all kinds of random stuff. But I did realise I know more little mix songs than I actually would like to admit. But we'll keep that quiet. Do you know the lyrics to them? Probably. <laughs> Go on, sing, sing us a few. Uh, no, because I'll probably get sued for it. But anyway. <laughs> okay, what comment lately has, um, has hurt you from what somebody has said? Oh, that's easy. Last week somebody said to me, your bread's rubbish. Because so obviously I make bread when I'm not filming. And I said, yeah, but if you eat it with your eyes shut, you'd know the difference. Exactly. Yeah, so anyway. What celeb would you have at a dinner party? <sighs> Right, this is going to sound really random because they're not actually a celebrity. They're famous but for bad things. I would like to go to tea with Hitler. Because I'd like to ask him what, what's going on in his head to sort of see it from his, his side of things. Explain a bit more. What, what would you ask him? Everyone's there we are. Okay, we're not, we're not saying Hitler's not a bad person, but obviously I want to find out what drives him and why he wanted to go to, um, yeah. to art, art college that he never got around to. Because if he'd have gone to art school, he wouldn't have become who he was. So. He went to the University of Vienna, didn't he? Yeah. And he did lots of art, and it, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it's see, and that's where he was going. So I would like to speak to him more about that. Not about why he executed people and wanted to take over the world. But anyway. Is he the love of your life? Not quite. All right, good. But yeah, that that would be my. Uh, <laughs> dead or alive, I'm not mind. Who who is the love of your life? Um, well, it's got to be George. She does my head in, but then I probably do her in more. So anything for a quiet life. How'd you meet George? Oh God, that's interesting. You know, you use these these wonderful dating apps, and yep. you put in your favourite sources, favourite colours. Uh, you can tie your shoelaces. And yeah, kind of, it um, matched me up with her, because I think we're both men. No, she, was, she put on her thing, um, was it time to do with diabetics in a sweet shop? Yeah, I, I, said, like, oh, I like this, yeah. it's really said, good. Yeah, I'm a diabetic in a sweet really shop. funny. So it kind of worked yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you've, got, you've got brilliant sense of humour, haven't you? Yeah, you? Sometimes, I yeah. yeah. Okay, worst mistake in your life? God, that must be, that must be weekly. Worst mistake in my life? Probably not going to um, college or uni. I left school, didn't know what I was doing, ended up working as a, doing pavements and painting fences, and then kind of just ended up doing what I'm doing now, and never really uh, went on to do what I want to. I mean, apart from making films now, which is what I want to do, but it would have been nice to get some experience, like 20 years ago, sort of get, get my head around it a bit more, and yeah. more time to do things I want to do. But, but personally, now you've, you've got it all literally from experience and not gone to college and done it in yeah. a theory sort of way, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. Don't we? we all regret things, I suppose, don't we? We do, even though we're not meant to. Yeah, work, I suppose. yeah. What could you do to help yeah. mankind? What could I do? Mr. Marathon. This is going to be saying something really cool, isn't it? Like, free energy or free something. I don't know, what can I do? I think um, giving people humour, making people laugh, making people generally happier in themselves is a good thing. Yes. It's free, isn't it? And it seems to work quite like well, which is a lot what films do, is they make people happy, hmm. and then there's less killing. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Like, like your films, for instance. Oh, my films? Yeah, some of my films make people laugh. <laughs> I hope. What is your best day and why? 
My best day? Yes. Uh, what's my best day? I don't know. I can think of some of my best days. Probably um, getting my IMDB credit was good because I planned that for years, so that was uh, quite a nice surprise. IMDB? Which one was it? Which uh, was the first from one? Oh my, wasn't it? So You've got many now, haven't you? I've got many now. You do. Just sort of collecting them like yeah. Pokemon cards. Yeah, well, that's, right. that's when you're professional, that's when you get an IMDb credit. Yeah, um, that's pretty much all that's happened in my life. So, what are you going to do? Okay, worst day in your life and when? God, worst day in my life. I was going to say it was last Monday because I was thinking, oh, it's been a terrible day and then my bag caught fire. So, that was probably one of them. I survived that, like I survived all the other things that happened, being shot at and terrorists and all kinds of things. So, yeah, they, they come around probably a bit too often, my, my worst days. If you wasn't an actress, what would you be? <laughs> um, These questions are, are not really yeah, written for you, are um, they? Well, that's easy. I'd have been a milkman, because when I was little, the vicar asked me what I wanted to do, and I said, yeah, I, I like milk, I can deliver milk on time, so I thought I want to be a milkman. And I was I'm pale as well, so probably would go with the job, wouldn't it? Tell me about um, how you got into filming and, you know, your first cameras and all of that. Uh, how I got into filming? Yeah. God, there's always been a camera shoved in my face, even when I was about seven years old. Somebody always had a camera. People in the family always had cameras, mm. nan, uh, granddad, mum. And they just kind of ended up giving me a battered second-hand camera, mm. learn how to turn it on, walk around with it. They just sort of progressed from bad to worse, really. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I don't think it's that bad. So it's always, it's always been there. So yeah, it's a, it's a um, good thing. What film are you most proud of that you've made to date? Oh, decisions, decisions. <laughs> I think that there's, there's elements in each film that I'm proud of. Yeah. Usually when something comes together really well or something turns out better than expected. So there's bits in Omo, the um, dive scene was good. That was the really... Explain in about the, the jive scene. Um, oh, well, apart from it took three hours to set up all the gear that I thought I'd need And the jib shot, thing. And all kinds of equipment and getting all the lights right and getting everything perfect for in behind the camera and then getting everyone together and getting everyone to do what you wanted. Yeah. When you watch the results back and you think that actually turned out better than expected, that's quite good. There's a couple of bits in spree that turned out really well. There's what scenes in particular? Um, I'm really impressed with it. Probably even some of the simple shots. Um, hmm. like the car comes speeding into a dusty field, dust flies up, and the shot's quite a high octane one. It's quite, a, quite an intense scene. And once it's all put together, you've got the police helicopter flying over and people running. Just even some simple bits and pieces, they, they turn out really well. Do you think that you've learned quite a lot in the last four years in the way of filming? You, you learn quite a lot, but then you always constantly learn. You, you make a mistake and then you learn from it, which I think is quite an important one. Because when something doesn't work or goes wrong, you then go off and find a solution. Mm. And then next time you bring something much better to the table and then things just progressively get, get better and better. Um, who are we again? Oh, who are we? Well, together we are marsonfilms.com. Very important that bit because it's a paid for website, not one of these free ones. Yes. What can we find on there? Oh, you can find all kinds of goodies on there. You can find um, my biographies, this all biographies interview. of the guide, interviews. You can even see our films for free because we know you're all tight asses. So, all kinds of stuff. Con you can contact us if you've got nothing else to do. So, yeah, everything's in one place now. All nice and tidy at last. Going off a bit now, um, what's the naughtiest thing that you did and didn't get caught for? Oh, I didn't get, didn't get caught I, for. the police. So don't say a certain time or a place, because oh. uh, we don't want this to be used in yeah, court. Yeah, yeah, seeing as um, they, they know who I am anyway. Mm. Oh, there's loads of stuff. There's loads of stuff. Um, they got me a spot on that one. Naughtiest, naughtiest thing I've done, a naughty thing I've done. Grenades from Omo. Oh no, that's that's just normal day for me. Yeah. Where do you keep your grenades? Uh, yeah, let's just say they're in an, uh, an ammunition tin that, that is designed for that that purpose. Yeah, but what room do you keep them? Oh well, no, they're not in the house. They're they're kept completely. Separate. But where did you keep them last year and the year before? Oh, under my bed, on my side. So if anything happened, that uh, nobody would get injured apart from me. And then when you moved them, where else did they go? Uh, in the kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
don't know where else you keep hand grenades. Are, are they real hand grenades? Well, technically no, but they could still do some damage. They are um, pyrotechnic, so they could still um, blow your hand off, if not, not handled properly. So yeah, um, anyway, that's about the grenades about really. Right, any regrets? Any regrets? Again, like I said, apart from going off further education to do that, I suppose not pursuing driving when I had all the chances, I just ran out of time. You could still do it now. Could do, but well, I've got a smashed up eye and my vision's not all that. It kind of makes things difficult. But it would have been nice if in 2004 I'd have done another test pass and driving by now. Life would have been so much easier. So, yeah. What are you most proud of? Most proud of? Yeah. I don't know, being me, I suppose. Because I don't know how to be anyone else. I think you're absolutely exceptional. I think I'm absolutely crazy. <laughs> That's not a bad thing, is it? Nope, not it's not. It's yeah, not. yeah, it's probably what I'm most proud of. That's a fantastic answer. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> what do you wish that you had? Oh, it's going to be a simple one, but 2020 vision. Where I can actually see properly and not struggle. But then, kind of, you just have to get over it, I suppose. Because you used to wear a patch, didn't you? Like a pirate, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, well, the last five, six years, I've had surgery on the right eye, my prominent eye. It's just been smashed up completely. The last week, it's been completely smashed up. So it's trying to make films with only one decent eye. It's quite yeah. difficult. Again, it affects the driving and it affects the balance. But you just, you just get on with it. See, I, I, I think that's pretty wonderful because you, you've done all of this yeah. with one eye. All of these films over the last four years with Try just to. just one eye. I do struggle a little bit at times, but if you give up, what am I going to do? Just carry on doing the same job for the rest of my life till I retire, yep. and then and then it's all game over, isn't it? That's right. At least yeah. got to try. Are, are your family like really proud of you? Um, well, I hope so. <laughs> don't really hear from anyone because I'm too busy. But yeah, I like to think so. And you don't like them, do you? I do. <laughs> I do. Most of them. Do you remember the last time I asked you that question? Oh, I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't quote me on that. It was, it was a joke, by the way. Oh, it's a joke. Cool. Yeah. yeah, it's a joke. Okay. Um, what do you think that you may have been in a previous life? Oh, what would I have been? Yeah. Probably useless. Probably would have, probably would have worked in a coal mine and not, not had an axe and just used my bare hands or something, something really tedious, but it would have been underground. I always have a feeling it would have been in the dark, underground. At least she wasn't a canary, eh? I might have been. I might have been the cage. Uh, exactly. Yeah, something's telling me coal mine. Because people always call me coal. And I wonder if it's something to do with the past life. It might be something to do with your name. That as well. Coal, Colin. Coal. Colin Merrison. Coal mine. Yeah. Something. What did you have for breakfast this morning? I don't usually have breakfast, but today, apart from having a piece of toast, which is good carbohydrates, I had a muffin that had a Mars bar melted over it. Did it? And also, I had a low-fat gingerbread muffin, for some strange reason. Sorry. But that's only because they, they threw it in free when I bought the muffins yesterday, and I thought, well, I start the day with a muffin. Suppose. I like a good muffin as well. A handful of muffins always a good start to do. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. How would you describe yourself? Uh, I don't know. How do you describe myself? Personality. Um, good points. Certainly good points strange. Yeah. Points. Certainly strange. I suppose once once I start speaking to people, they sort of think, yeah, he's not he's not all bad. He's not as I think a lot of people look at me and think, oh, that's very aggressive. A lot of people cross the street, like elderly ladies, cross the street, and then when they trip over, I run over and go, oh, you're right, I love you And they're like, oh, you're not, you're not all scary and, and horrible and you're not on class A drugs. I go, what made you think that? It's funny, isn't it? People's, people's perception. Say, oh, oh, I thought you was going to hurt me. I go, really? Really? I say, why do people think that? I don't know. It's crazy, isn't it? They say, never judge a book by its cover, only by its price. How much is it worth? You know, read a little deeper. And when you find out what people are like, I think we all do it. We all see people and think, oh, they look like they're such and such. And then you go and speak to them and you think, oh, how lovely. Yeah. So, yeah, in a nutshell, I suppose. Um, yeah. Come and speak to me and I don't like you. Well, that's your problem. <laughs> what are you scared of? Flowers. Well, not scared of them, but I, it's something about flowers. I don't know what it is. I used to do floral arrangements, mm. believe it or not, and I don't know what it is. It's just something about it. Maybe because the 
go on graves and things. No, it's because they're alive. It's strange, isn't it? I don't know what it is. It's just something about flowers. What about if they're growing in the pot? Is it all right then or not? Or is it cut flowers? All of them, I suppose. Just don't like them? Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? But apart from that, nothing really bothers me. So the next time that you get a great award for your films then... Yeah, don't um, give me flowers. Okay. Even if they are edible. I Can don't you want say that to camera? I don't want flowers. Uh, chocolates, champagne, you know, or, or money would be nice, but don't give me flowers, <laughs> please. Okay. What's your favourite song? <sighs> favourite song? Or, or, I don't know, see if you were to look at my, my pod or whatever it is, there's a complete range of all kinds of stuff on there. A lot of the time, I quite like what, what local or people I know, their kind of music, because it's, it's a little bit different. So it could be anything. It probably depends what mood you're in. If it's early in the morning, something from the 80s is quite good. If you're in a bad mood, something a bit heavier. So yeah, I'm not, not really a one song person, so. That's different. Right. Look to camera. I should, we should be good at this, shouldn't I? Look to camera. Yeah, you tell me to do it all the time. I know. Yeah. Cameraman, I know, it, it, how, how ironic. Look I to know, camera. How strange, isn't yeah. it? What do you love about people? Um, probably the goodness in them. Like, when people are genuine, almost when people let their guard down and you, 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 you're kind of let let in, if that makes any sense. Mm. So then you feel safe and they feel safe. Because yeah. a lot of the time you have to put up a bit of a defence against people, not not quite knowing what, what's their hidden agenda. But when people let their guard down, you then you then feel safe and everyone sort of just, just gets on. Do you think much. that people have an agenda? People sort of give off an energy, don't they? Yes. And sometimes you can pick up on the on the good, the bad. Or, or sometimes you're not quite sure what to make of them. Mm. And some of us, some people are good at that, and some some people are not so good at that. Yeah. It's so, strange, uh, isn't it? uh, same question again. Like, what do you hate about people? Uh, I think that bad people all need to be punished. I won't. I won't go into too much detail. No, I think you should. Go on. Oh, yeah. If people if people do wrong, they even need to learn a hard lesson from it, or probably get a good smack. Depending on what they've done, but you know, like, that's, that's, uh, yeah, <laughs> I won't go too much into that. What would you say that um, people's perception is of you? People's perception? Yeah. Probably a bit, a bit of caution, a bit of curiosity. I think, because you find a lot of children, they're very curious, aren't they? Because you're a bit different. They, they always want to know, or they want to come and say hello or something. So hmm. again, it's like giving off the energy. But I think a lot of adults are quite wary and they always sort of, never too sure what to make of it. Until you speak to them and then they go, oh, everything's all right, you let your guard down, you're not going to hurt me. And you think, really? Why would you think that? That's strange. I think that's strange. What would you like to be most remembered for, apart from your films? My sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> apart from my films, yeah, probably my, my sarcasm, because a lot of people say to me, are you being sarcastic? I go, no, I'm being genuine. That's, how, that's what I'm honestly thinking. And they go, oh, we couldn't tell. So yeah, I'd probably have that. Or if it's saying to go on my headstone, I'd probably have my headstone at the exit and it'd just say it drives safely. <laughs> and just leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> okay. What do you really appreciate in life? <sighs> what I really appreciate? Time off and sleep. Peace and quiet, I suppose. It's something I very rarely get. Just the time to sort of just sort of recharge your batteries mentally and spiritually and physically and just think, just have a little break and then you can sort of then tackle the next challenge or, or deal with the next set of problems. Would you say that your, your, your life is pretty manic? Yeah, it always feels like I'm a day behind. Like yeah. I'm never quite caught up with myself, but I can see myself ahead of me and I'm always running behind. Mm. And I, I don't really know what the answer is because I think even retirement's not, not really going to make things better, it's going to make things worse. Yeah. Um, what do you want from your love life? Um, I suppose everything's to be a happy ending, isn't it? We all want that. Just, just, to, just things just to cut along and just sort of work. Just. Do whatever, really, as long as it's not a tragedy, I suppose, that's it, that's all we can ask for. If there's something that you could tell people that's very important, what would it be? Ah, this is an interesting one, because I was, at one point, going to get tattoos across the hands that say, don't quit. 
because whenever people feel sad or feel miserable, you always want to give them something to remember, so you then stick your hands in their face and go, don't quit. Whatever happens, whatever you've been through, whatever life's done to you, or whatever you've done, it's not a Samaritan, isn't it? You can call that number, they'll help you. But it is, it's don't quit. Because you don't know what, what tomorrow is going to bring, it could be good, it could be bad, but everything, 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 start again. Everything doesn't last forever, good or bad. So, you know, time is probably a healer, but again, just just keep going. So it's a bit like uh, Winston Churchill, and you know, in your World yeah. War Two film, Operation uh, Omo. Yeah. What, was, what was it that they that he we'll, said? We'll fight them on the beaches. We will never surrender. Never. So it's just working out what he said. Yeah. Yeah. That's, pretty much. That's what you always say, isn't it? As um, as as for your your. Marson Film Company. Well, yeah, you, like I said, even with the damaged eye and filming kind of relies on your eyesight. Just, just keep going, I suppose, until you can't go anymore. Yeah. But, so I'm not going to think about that too much. That's probably when you're dead. Anyway. Okay. Going off the subject again, because it's a quite random questions. Okay. Has, um, has someone hurt you lately, and how? Probably not, not someone, to be too specific, but I think it's, it's people's attitudes, isn't it? In the, the current world we live in, there's, there's a lot of negativity and there's a lot of things going on that are quite bad. And it's always how people react, isn't it? Sometimes good, sometimes bad. So, probably hateful people spreading hate kind of creates more hate, doesn't it? And this again, you, you see that quite a lot. People go, oh, people with tattoos are bad, or, or people like this are bad. So, you know, there's, there's no need for that, is there? Really? So, so you're saying about, again, people judging you as a, as a, by the cover? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's that, that kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, so. I absolutely understand that. And if, if someone's made you happy lately, and why? Who's made me happy? Has anyone done anything extra special for me? One of you guys must have done something nice for me. George came out last Wednesday for filming, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, I think she had a good day. So, yeah, yeah it's always nice when she, she gets out. Mm. You know, when she keeps quiet, it's always a good thing. But then when she talks, it's probably a good thing. So, yeah, I'm not going to start giving people awards for the things they've done, like the guy in Costa that gave me free sugar and all that. But if you've done something nice for me, then thank you very much. It, it's, it's meant a lot. So, yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks to you all, really. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, obviously, we need actors and extras, oh, don't we? Yeah, always need people. Whoever you are, if you're good, bad or ugly, you know, we can yeah. always um, give anyone a chance or give anyone something, an opportunity. You know, even if somebody's got no arms or legs, there's still something they can probably do for us. Or play a victim or, well, maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> play with our dead cats. Yeah, yeah, or microphone, whatever you want to do. So. What is a dead cat? Because lots of people don't know. A dead cat? It's the, the term used for the furry thing that someone holds on a stick above your head. Because it looks a bit like a dead cat from the distance, without the arms, legs, or the head or tail. But that's pretty, well, it's called muff. I think, <laughs> I think the American term is muff. So if someone wants to hold a dead cat with their muff, don't be offended. You know, it's, a, it's a job for us all. Okay. Yeah, it's great. Um, any last last thoughts and anything you'd like to say to these people that are watching your interview? Any last thoughts? Um, Sponsorship and things? Well, if anyone wants to throw money at us, which they won't. If they do, then that's that's cool. Um, that's it really, I suppose. Like I said, don't quit. Good luck if you do quit, then just try again tomorrow. And uh, yeah. Good luck. Tomorrow's always Yeah, and what's it, how's it go? Peace out, Bobby do and all that stuff. So, yeah. Uh, Great stuff. Who says Bobby do? Steve. <laughs> <laughs> what, Swedish Steve? He's our manager. He's our former manager. <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah. So, yeah, all good stuff, people. All Thanks right. for watching this crap. And uh, we'll see you next month or yeah. next time or whatever. Cheers. Lovely stuff. So, if you hit delete, <laughs> Silly sort of thing. Oh. <laughs> and smile, cheese yeah. grin.